Hey everybody, this is Curtis from PSNStores.com. Today we're taking a look at Ninja Senki DX. Uh, this is a uh, this is a game by Tribute Games. You probably know them from Mercenary Kings, uh, specifically. They made I, I guess Ninja Senki was actually created shortly before Tribute Games was formed. Um, just from the little bit of reading up I did on this uh, earlier today, and so this was made. It was like a free uh, freeware game released on PC about five years ago and uh, they've now decided to kind of they went back uh, updated it a little bit and now it's out on PS4 and Vita I believe PS4 and Vita it's a uh, five dollars so not too expensive uh, we're gonna jump into it this is a, a pretty difficult game um, I've, pl I've cleared the first two levels but I can already tell it's gonna get pretty hard uh, there's 16 levels in all um, we'll just start a new game just so you can kind of see how things go. Um, obviously, it, it's, a, it's a game that definitely is very much inspired by... I mean, Mega Man is probably the best example. Um, just in the way that it plays. You're not, like, selecting different boss stages. But it's very much... You're, you're running, you're jumping, and you're throwing shuriken. Uh, instead of shooting things. So, But, I mean, it it feels pretty similar. In, and also, like, the level design definitely... Reminds me a lot of, like, old-school Mega Man. But, it, yeah, so, I mean, it's very much, uh... For a game that's inspired by... A very specific, uh, style of game, it feels like that very much. Uh, but this one, specifically, you notice, so, like, on the left-hand side, you see my HP, you see my lives, my score, and then the timer. And then on the right-hand side, uh, scene one, so that's level one. Again, I, it looks like there's about 16 levels in the game from what I saw from the challenge mode. Uh, there's the Koban, or just coins. That's how many coins are in the level, uh, how many enemies are in the stage, and then your target time. Uh, so it's kind of um, encouraging you to like kind of perfect stages. Like you'll go through, you'll play through the game normally, and then you'll go back and like you'll try to get all the coins, you'll try to kill all the enemies, you'll try to do your speedrun challenge. Um, so this level specifically, I, I mean, without too much trouble, I was able to get all the coins, kill all the enemies. Uh, but the speedrun thing might be pretty tough. And then this is going to be where our checkpoint is in case I die, which could happen. Uh, but yeah, so it's it's not a uh, super complicated game or anything. There's it's it's pretty simple to to understand just from looking at it. Uh, like I mean, Mega Man's like the thing that popped in my head uh, immediately, just in the way that levels are designed, the way the in like the enemy placement, um, the way that certain sections of a stage I could see becoming very frustrating if you try to do it. Perfect. Uh, there's a part early on in the third stage where you are uh, skipping across water, and that is uh, that is really annoying, uh, just because of how it works. And then you've got like frogs jumping at you, and if they hit you, you fall, and if you fall, you die. So that's good. Uh, so it's, it's got a little bit of that, but so far it, it seems hopefully it's not like it won't be super unfair. Um, you saw there, so at the end of each stage, depending on how well you do, you get different, like, titles. Um, so you can get, uh, perfect if you get, if you get all the coins and you kill all the enemies, you'll get perfect. Um, it's like collector for getting all the coins, and then assassin for killing all the enemies. And then again, there's like a speedrunner one. Uh, but this is the, this is the type of game that, like, I could see myself completing, because it, it is pretty fun. But... I don't think, I don't know if, I have a feeling this is something I'm not going to be able to, like, 100%. Because, I mean, even even this first stage actually took me a little while to get through my first time. Now I feel a little bit more confident and eat it. But definitely starting at, like, stage 3, uh, I started noticing a pretty... A bit of a spike in difficulty. Ooh. So you've got a double jump. Um, it's not super pronounced. Let's see if we can... It gives you a little bit of a boost. Uh, but not, not a big one. Oh, jeez. So 
So the end of this stage actually has a boss fight. Um, we should be able to get to it. Uh, the boss in particular, like, doesn't... It's not really super involved, so I don't really know... I've seen some screenshots of some of the other bosses in the game. Oh, great. I think that was right before the checkpoint, too. Oh, man. <laughs> it's funny, because, like, this isn't an old... Like, this is a five-year-old game, so it's not like it's a... It's old, but it's, it's very much designed with, like, the same sensibilities. So it is very hard, and there's not very many checkpoints. So it's, it's very punishing, and that's okay. That's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, obviously the important thing that they nailed is that it feels good. Uh, it controls really well. Although there definitely are elements that feel a little cheap sometimes. Oh, I screwed it up. Because I can't, I don't think I can get up there. Oh, actually maybe I can. No, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how like involved the boss fights get. I imagine they'd probably be pretty hard. The first one uh, isn't too bad. Hopefully I can at least get to the, to the uh, checkpoint up here. That way we have a shot at getting to the boss at least. There we go. Okay. I knew it was going to happen. I knew that. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, crap, man. <laughs> okay. Well, we, we are going to... Uh... So, okay, so you have your regular normal mode. Um, I'm assuming when I started a new game that probably over... That probably saved over my original file. So if I hit continue, I'd probably go back to the second stage. Uh, there is hardcore mode where you cannot save, and then uh, if you continue, you're penalized for it. Uh, challenges, there's a hidden mode here. So I'm not sure what that is. So at challenges, this is kind of what you can look at here. So you see stage one. That's where it's going to show you. I've already got perfect collector and assassin. Uh, but speedrunner, I need to work on. Uh, scene two, when I beat it, uh, I missed some coins and I also missed some enemies. Uh, scene three, I have not finished yet. But you can go th through and you see there's uh, at least 16 of them. So if we go to scene three, uh, yeah, and you can't uh, do these until you've finished the stage. So let's really quick see if this puts me into stage two or not. Yeah, it does. Okay. That's fine. I can just beat that stage again. Uh, and out of, out of curiosity, I'm curious uh, what exactly is different in hardcore mode. If it's just that you can't save. Maybe enemies do more damage. I don't know. We'll see. We'll try to speed run this. Oh no, it doesn't look like anything's different. It's just you can't save. We'll go for the speed runner. It's probably the type of game that like, if I want to get these speed run challenges, I probably just shouldn't stop at all. It can be kind of hard, though. Oh, no! Thank you, okay.
Yeah, no speedrunner. I probably would have been kind of close, because we're not we I wasn't that far from the end. It's those uh it's the guys you gotta like wait for for them to throw their uh whatever. Cause I think I need to hit them I'm pretty sure with like four is what I need to take them out. I can kind of do that. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, I probably need to just not worry about the enemies there. And just go and see if I can jump over them or something. Just never stop moving. We'll give this stage one more shot. See if I can get through. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I, I like this. It is something that I imagine could could possibly get frustrating, depending on how hard it gets later on. Which I bet it gets really hard, if I if I were a betting man. Um, it really depends on how many... Uh, I can't show it, but uh, we'd have to beat this level. But in, sta in the third stage, really early on... There's a part with some water, and there's no- there's nothing below the water, so if you fall, uh, you die. And so, what you can do is, like, you can kind of skip along, uh, the top of the water if you time it right. So when you- when you start, like, right when you cross over, like, into the water as you're falling, you can jump, and you can kind of skip along. And if you do it right, like, you'll just infinitely skip along the water. And it's kind of a cool thing, like it's, you know, being a ninja, it, it feels kind of cool to do. Uh, but in that section, there's some frogs jumping at you. And it's the type of thing that if you get hit, you fall. And so you'll die, and it's, uh, it's a little rough. It, it wasn't, it didn't give me too much trouble, but I feel like I know where that's going. I feel like, I feel like that's a section that is going to be reoccurring and probably quite frustrating. We'll see. Other than that, it hasn't been too bad, level design-wise. It's mostly been my own my own mistakes, just being very careless. And that's how they get you. Oh. Also, it's these like ghosts that will show up as I'm like jumping along above uh, bottomless pits. You gotta be ready for those, too. Oh, man. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, so, okay, so you lose points. That's how they penalize you. Okay. Well, that is Ninja Senki DX. It is out now on PS4 and Vita. Uh, it's five bucks. So, like, not a bad price at all. Very cheap. I'm, I'm liking it quite a bit. Uh, so if you're into this, like, if you like playing these games that are very inspired by kind of your old school NES era, um, if you like Mega Man, that actually, this probably fits really well. It definitely, definitely has a lot of, like, Mega Man sensibilities in the way the levels are designed and how it feels. So, uh, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you later. If you like this or any of our other YouTube videos, subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to support what we do in general, be sure to hop on over to patreon.com slash psnstores. Your patronage helps keep our podcast 100% ad-free. Thanks for watching.